Now joining us on Sunday Sports Extra is Damon Griffin, our college football game day, college football game night analyst, former Duck wide receiver. Damon, Oregon solves the Stanford problem. 45-16 <laughs> to 16 win yesterday. In your mind, what's the biggest difference between what happened yesterday and what happened the past two years when Stanford won? Uh, the, the, biggest, the biggest difference is obvious. Stanford coming and winning the top defense and run, Ran, ran the ball. I mean, the last two years, they couldn't run the ball at all. And to see Marcus, they'll totally take over the game. Seeing the two-headed monster, Thomas Tyner now, Royce Freeman. It looks like it's going to be those two guys running the ball. Those guys are running with nothing but fury, fire, aggressiveness. Coach Campbell's getting in their head. The defense was able to stop, not allow them to make those big plays. They controlled the turnover, third, third down possession game. Oregon was controlled through the whole game. And that's what was awesome to see last night was not just – Fall and felter. They, they, sometimes they were kind of fall back, allowing Stanford to give chances. Not this time. They were total control throughout the game. It was awesome to see. You mentioned Thomas Tyner. Yeah. He was running with, I think, more confidence, more effort than we've seen all year. Uh, you said yesterday on yeah. College Football Game Night, you think maybe a fire lit under him by yeah. being sidelined and seeing what Royce Freeman did the past two weeks. It's nothing like being a competitor <laughs> <laughs> and seeing a guy that you're competing to get the ball and to see a guy that's totally elevating his game. If you're a true competitor, you're going to do that. And Thomas Tyner is that guy. And he was able to do the things he does best, especially last night, the touchdown he ran when he did the spin. <laughs> North and south, he do that's his game. When he gets that head of steam, that 10-5, 10, 10 6, meter gets in. Him controlling those young guys, throwing in Nelson as well, getting that red zone touchdown as well, getting those young guys involved are really going to elevate Oregon's offense and allow them to compete throughout the season. Defensively, Stanford racked up the yards over 450, but the points only 16. It was bend and not break as we've seen. Timely turnovers and ultimately uh, you think, I, I think a, a pretty good job done by, by Dom Pelham's defense. You were praising him last yeah, night I, on game I, night. I think it's an absolute excellent job. Yeah. I mean, Stanford does what they do best. They run the ball. And then they want Hogan to kind of go up the play action. But when you're making Hogan make all the plays and make all the passes downfield, that's not his game. They took him out that whole scheme and doing things. They got some great turnovers as well. They played their game. They didn't overemphasize being too aggressive, trying to blitz them. No, they're, they are who they are. They are a bend, don't break defense. They're going to give up yards, but they're not giving up points. Three points, second half. That's very impressive. Damon Griffin, our college football game day, college football game night analyst. You can see him every Saturday along with Jay Shockey, 4 o'clock and 8.30. Thanks for coming on Sunday Sports Extra. Love it.